Sometimes we face those moments where we must make a decision. Actually, if we're honest, we make decisions every day. But sometimes the really big decisions come and we become frozen, like the deer on the railroad tracks, with the approaching train and yet we can't move. We are frozen in our tracks, not wanting to make a mistake. Sometimes the greatest mistake is not moving. It says in James 1 verse 8, An indecisive man is unstable in all his ways. When you arrive at one of those days where you have a a crossroad in your life, here are some of the things that you can do to help you make a good decision. Number one, gather as much information as you can. Number two, don't be impulsive. Number three, rely on the advice of trusted friends and mentors. But number four, don't just stop there. Pray to God for guidance. Number five, listen to that still small voice of the Spirit. Now, why would I separate that out? Pray for guidance and then listen to that still small voice. Because often when we pray, we get an answer and we don't like that answer. We would rather turn our back on that answer and go our own way. (laughs) It's better to listen. Number six, when the time for action arrives, act. Don't just stay there. Don't remain in fear. Have the confidence of God and fill you. See, procrastination is the enemy of progress. Don't let it defeat you. People who can never quite make up their mind. They often live in a continuous state of discomfort. But when they and when you seek God and line up your desires with God's will, God will help you to make the right decisions. And you can move ahead onto the greatest good that you've ever experienced. You will no longer be in the crossroads. You will be on your way, on your way to great tomorrows.